Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond. Welcoming you back to the world of Daisy Party. In the last episode, Locomotive, 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 Locomotive 69. And in this episode, we are headed to Koopa Seaside Sorry, as I thought it said back in the old days. But now I am informed that it says Soiree. Super fancy, fancy. <laughs> so it must be a very fancy board, right? No, not really. Good, good, excellent, let's party. let's party! So question, if it's my least favorite board, why do I always save it for last? Because it's the order of things! You can't mess with the natural order! Koopa Seaside Sorry! Uh, as if I didn't like, uh, dislike the beach enough- uh, Already, wow, off to a great start with this board. Daisy, Wario, Waluigi, Mario! Welcome to Koopa Seaside Sorry. The name's Koopa, and it's my distinct pleasure to show you around. How polite! This board is a realization of my lifelong dream to build a beautiful tropical resort. Enjoy the laid-back atmosphere as you mellow out in my island groove and bask in its sights. Now, shall we decide the order? So he's a very polite character. And, hooray! I'm not going last. Wario's first. And we got Waluigi going second. We got Daisy going third. And then we got Mario going dead last. Uh, to truly appreciate the island, you'll need these 10 coins. And uh, he means that in more ways than one. <laughs> you'll see what I mean. So remember what I said, the... Uh, I really appreciated how Mario Party 4 got rid of the Koopa Bank, how we don't have to constantly give up coins every time we go somewhere? Well, that's when this thing starts to change around. Because it's Koopa's board, this entire thing is all about the Koopa Bank. So, when it gets to my turn, I'll show you around the place. Wow, we're continuing the tradition of getting ones on the first turn. Hooray. But yeah, as you can see over here, yeah, uh, this little beach house area, as you can see, it's just a little peg right now. But every time you pass this little Koopa space, he'll take five coins from you. And this place gets designed to a bigger and bigger little resort area. And the fancier this place gets, the more expensive it is to stay here whenever you land on one of these happening spaces. So, if it's just like a little shack, you'll need to pay 10 coins to hang out here. But if it's like a big hotel, you might end up paying like 20 or 30 coins to stay here. And the annoying thing- well, I'll save that for later. Let's, let's have it be a surprise, because I don't want to just- Wow, okay. We really are continuing the trend of getting ones in the first turn. I don't want to just sit here and talk about it. We're going to show it off through action. Or maybe we'll just not get any happening spaces this turn. I won't be able to show it off, but who cares? I got the locomotive. That's all I care about in this Mario Party experience because that is all that is necessary. Manta rings. Manta Oh, hey, we're going underwater in the water board and stuff. Yeah, like, I don't know. I just, I love pools. I love swimming and stuff, but like, I just do not like beaches because they're super gross and super public. I don't want to go to a public place to swim. I just like it being private and quiet and to myself and stuff. But everyone's like super loud and gross and dirty and like littering around. Uh, sand is like very annoying to clean off once you leave the beach. And like it's just a big old like salt water thing so you can't like... Uh, it's super gross if you ingest it by accident. And then like uh, a bunch of fish are pooping in there. A bunch of uh, strangers kids or stranger not kids are pooping in there. It's just a big old pile of poop! Like why would you want to go to the beach? I just never understand that. So... I know it's not uh, as easy or accessible to just go to a pool, but still, like, if I had to choose between beach or pool, it's always going to be pool. I hate staying at beaches. Oh, uh, whatever. That's just my two cents on the matter that I don't anyone cares about, but I just never like beaches. Like, there's so many of my least favorite things just piled up into this board. I hate beaches, I hate the Koopa Bank, and, I don't know, it just continues on. Like, that always seems to be a thing, like, as Mario Party goes on, like, anytime there's a koopa theme board, it's always about losing money. And like, that's just not fun. And I don't know what the heck's going on outside, like a big old garbage truck or something like that. Like, it's not fun to lose money over and over again. Like, it happens to everyone, so it's just super annoying. Just like, who could be the least poor this board? I don't think I know. I don't enjoy it, but we had to play it eventually, so here we are. I was thinking about mixing up the order or stuff or making it random, whichever board we were going to, but nah, I always, I'm always a stickler for doing things in order and sticking to tradition and all that jazz. Uh, let's see, he's going over here, going to do nothing. And uh, those happening spaces, it kind of reminds me of uh, Mario Party 2, other just those random blue spaces that have an event, but they're not actually a happening space, it's sort of weird. Oh, hey, we're going to show it off right here. So I was sort of like in the back of my mind, I'm like, I shouldn't be talking about this because you're not going to know what I'm talking about because you're not going to be able to show it off. But no, you know when the sharks happen on Pirate Land, when you just uh, go on there and like 
the, it's a blue space and it just randomly takes you to a different part of the board, but it's not happening space. And you're just wondering why it isn't a happening space. So I feel like this is their way of making up for it because they give you happening space this time. So yeah, I got two ones in a row, but I got happening space, so I'm okay with that. And I'm avoiding that crazy nonsense that is the stinking uh, Koopa Hotel in 1 vs. 3. Great. Oh, uh, what do we got? Not Candlelight Fright, please. Of course we get it. Is every minigame gonna have a water theme? Because we got Manta Rays and we got this one which has squirt guns. We're gonna keep track of how many minigames involve water. That's gonna be our theme for this board, because why not? We gotta have a theme. As of right now, at the end of the LP, we must have a theme for every board. Wow. Wow. Star! Start! Uh, let's see how quickly I could die this time. Maybe I should have done the winning by doing absolutely nothing. Jesus Christ, Wombo Combo. Get out of here. I have never seen the one person win this. Like, they're easy computers, and yet I still can never think and win this. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Okay. I'm doing okay so far. Jesus. I think I'm gonna get hit one more time, and then I'm done for... I wanna win. I might actually do it this time. I shouldn't have said that. Oh, balls in a ball sack. <sighs> we gotta walk back. Like, yeah, we just lost, but then we just gotta calmly walk back into place, and then go... Whoa! <laughs> and then I'm just sad. First, first, third, third. Uh, it's not too far of a split though, just three coin difference. So there's still a chance to make a comeback. And it's like the second turn. So I'm um, like, oh, it's all over. We're all doomed. Might as well reset right now. And hey, we got a shop. Uh, nothing of really interesting things. You got a mini Mega Hammer. It's the first time I've seen that. So I guess it'll be cool to see that action. It's really funny the animation for, but we'll save it for when we see it. Don't get ahead of myself here. Uh, I got a nine. So all Luigi gonna be. Oh, he's got enough for the star. How lame. Uh, he's the first star of the game very early on. Uh, this was the board that uh, Ben had his epic adventure, but this is not Ben's epic adventure. This is Midnight Beyond's lackluster, mediocre adventure of loneliness. <laughs> I don't think it. Uh, let's see. No happening space for you. What? Oh, okay. It was like, he doesn't have enough coins for a star anyway, so whatever. So, he pays the coins and a little shack is built. I'll have the numbers on screen, like how many coins you need to have each level of the hotel and uh, the consequences for each one, just in case you're curious. But other than that, this place is not very fun. Uh, for another reason that we are about to show off. The ookity thing. It's completely random where you get to go. You either go up or down, completely random. So that's another thing. We had the randomness from Goomba's Greedy Gala and the Koopa Bank. It's just not fun. Okay, I'm going up now, I guess. Hooray. I can get a lottery ticket though, which is nice, I guess. That's what Ben did though, when he did his thing. Uh, it's the lottery ticket thing, I need to, oh, I need to look it up, I need to look it up. How do I do that? How do I do that from here? My phone's charging on the other side of the room. Uh, I need to go YouTube search it. Ben's awful luck. What was his specific ticket? I need to know. If it actually works two times around, oh my god, this is going to be so stinking nerdy. Uh, I'll link the video to you in case you have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, awful luck. And yeah, this is the worst LP ever, by the way. In case you're wondering. Yeah, second half of Midnight and Beyond history, same old Midnight and Beyond. Uh, mute that, because you don't need to hear it. Uh, let's see. Come on, which one is it? To know the exact ticket that Benjamin Taylor once touched with his Yoshi hand, it is uh this one. Aw, it didn't work. How sad. Maybe because I'm not playing as Yoshi. I'm sorry, you lost. Oh. Don't be sad. Remember, you can always try your luck again. <laughs> oh, that would have been amazing if it actually worked, but uh, fortunately not. Uh, if you have a Mega Mushroom, you can actually skip the, uh, giving Koopa money, which is nice, but get one. And the star space is really close to the hotel thing, so it might not be the best idea to do that right now. And, okay, I guess not anymore, because Mario's about to get the star. Now he's got eight coins in there. And, oh, hey, battle game, as if we haven't had enough of those lately. Hooray. Mario gets a star. <laughs> Woohoo! I got it! 1-1. One, one. One, because he's in first, and he got a one star and a one coin. All the way over there. Ugh. Battle game explosion! No one has money. <laughs> My God, it's gonna be a very boring battle game. Ten coins. 
I feel like sometimes the roulette is sometimes weighted towards how many coins people have. I'm actually kind of happy it's Bowser's Bigger Blast. I don't know why. It's just like, why not? Not much to lose, even though I was one of the only people who actually had money to uh, contribute to this game. So I, I personally do have something to lose. I don't know. I just wanted to see something different. It's the floating disembodied head of Bowser. Okay. Oh, and I'm going last. Oh, balls. Yahoo! I like Mario's GameCube era voice. Sounds very iconic and stuff. Okay. Let's see. He's going... Thank you, Waluigi. I don't have to worry about that now. No need to worry. Explosives. I want there to be like a movie or something where when something explodes, instead of actually making an explosion sound effect, it just says, explosives. <laughs> uh, let's go with yellow. Oh, come on. Explosives. Vibration. Fall down. Now I don't care about the outcome of this game because I'm not involved in it in any way, shape, or form. Pink. I'm just gonna do pink too. Hooray! Three, two, one. Kerblu. Wee! Oh, that'd be a cool thing to boundary break. Like, do the characters appear off screen like they're just like floating on the ground behind us or in front behind the camera or something like that? That'd be kind of funny. I need a boundary break on Mario Party 4 and stat. Yahoo! And 2v2. Going to play... Cliffhangers! Hey, we're actually... Oh, we haven't played this game yet. This is a new one. I just remember what it is before it actually came up. It's a very fun mini game. It's climbing a cliff. <laughs> Don't let the snowy winds blow you off the face of the cliff. As you climb, I thought it said off the face of the climb. Grab hold when you when the wind and the rumble starts to pick up. Just move and hold on, and when you feel the vibration, then that's when you're gonna hold on. Or when you see the exclamation points, if you have vibration turned off for whatever reason. I never understood why people did that, but whatever. Stop! Stop. I don't, I don't know if I talked about this before, but like, does the vibration on the switch bother you? Or is it just me like, it just sounds like too disruptive, like the noise it makes. It makes me feel like my controller's about to explode or break or something. It just always makes me nervous whenever the switch vibrates. And it's weird because like they're always raving about that 3D rumble, but it just sounds wrong. Like something bad is happening whenever it happens. I never really got it, but whatever. Just keep on hitting on. I like Waluigi was like, just lagging behind down there. And like I always look at Wario's booty right now. Uh, hold on. Okay, very good. Let's keep on climbing up. And, okay, yeah, not every vibration means it's about to do a big blow. Sometimes it's just a little blow. Hey, I just realized my microphone's called a Yeti and we were in the snow. Wow, I'm really stretching for commentary. Oh, back to 18 corns. I need to set my game up. Like, there are very, very early stars, so we're keeping in the Ben tradition and getting a lot of stars on this board, but the stars aren't going to me, so I don't care. Uh, Wario got a six. Uh, okay. Wario is as uninteresting as ever. I don't know why he's not using his mega hammer. Usually it's like, oh, I got an item. I must use it immediately, even if it doesn't make sense. But no, maybe they're learning. Maybe there actually is difficulty spikes as the game goes on or something like that. Uh, great. <laughs> I was hoping I would at least get a happening space, but no, I do not. Oh, he's got 13 coins. So he upgrades from a little uh, shack to a little hut, I guess. And uh, Mario's going to get a 10. Uh, is he gonna buy anything? Probably, because he's a computer player, and that's what they do. They buy things. Super Mega Mushroom. Okay, now he's getting rid of all the corn, so he can't get more stars. Ookity's going to throw the banana peel. And, like, as you can plainly see, when he takes the banana, it has a banana in it, but then it becomes just a peel when he throws it on the ground. Ookity's magical disappearing banana. Huh. Uh, oh, that's only very rarely get to see. Is he gonna get a mini mushroom? Do we get to show it off? Possibly no, because that would be too convenient. That's the mini event for the game though, in case you are wondering. 
Uh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got... Take a breather. Breather, I just met her. No. Oh, wait, so that one... Uh, that mini game involved snow, which turns into water, and then this one we're going underwater. I forgot the whole trend of keeping track of things. I feel like there's a minigame we are missing, though, like, that I forgot to keep track of. Well, I know Bowser's Baker Blast didn't involve any water. But whatever, okay. I have officially given up on keeping track of our trend that I was just now trying to set. Guess when it comes to trend setting, I'm just not Jenna. If you get that reference, you're awesome. <laughs> Hooray, I won. What an amazing surprise. I'd like to thank the Academy for this award. Oh, wait, I'm underwater. I can't be talking. Everyone just stares at me like, yep, you won. <laughs> just watch the celebration. Get 26 corns. Now I'm in third, but I'm the bottom third, so I'm not happy. Happy peppy.